Good afternoon friends and welcome back to the homestead. So it is a lot earlier in the evening. It's about 6 30 almost 7 o'clock here. It has been so hot the last few days. I have been spending most of my mornings inside and then coming out when the sun has gone over the mountain. So it's a lot cooler over here. So for today's project, I have been putting it off for a while, is we had grafted this tree with several of those grafting balls back in, I believe May, and they did start forming some roots. So today I'm gonna come through and we're gonna cut all those off and then we're gonna head up to the pump house and we are going to transplant them into pots or into little cups so that they can grow some more roots and then next year I will hopefully be planting those somewhere around the property because these are absolutely beautiful. These are snowball, this is a snowball tree and the little, uh, they look like snowballs. They're white flowers, a bunch of them all over the place and it looks like a little snowball. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these off and see how those root systems look. See, we've got some roots right there. Now, I don't see any roots on this one, but we'll still open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. I mean, it's alive. You can see it's got green on it. So this branch was alive. But we'll open her up and see what she looks like. This one has one little root growing in it. All right, so those are the four small ones. I have four small and four of the bigger balls. So let's check on the other side and check for those bigger balls and see how those ones look. Oh yeah, look at the roots on that one. All right, so that's all eight of them. Let's head up to the pump house and I'll open these up and show you how the root systems look. And then we'll go ahead and put them into some pots. All right, friends, so we are gonna start off with potting mix. And we're gonna go ahead and do our red solo cups for now. And then once the roots grow a little bit bigger, then I'll go ahead and transplant them into a bigger pot. All right, let's cut into these and see how they look. But what I will share with you is the interesting fact is that the graft part is up here. This is where we cut a little bit of it to hope that the roots would come up from right there. But they didn't. They came out from down here, which is where there is another node. And that's where it came out of. So, we really didn't have to cut around it interesting but those are really nice looking roots here so let's go ahead and put this into the solo cup fill it with some dirt and get it watered there's another one look at how good that root system looks This one has extremely good roots. Wow. The roots on that one. I'm actually going to put this one in a bigger pot because it's already got so many roots. Let me go grab one. Another one that has a really good root system. All right, so now we're on to the smaller balls and see how they did. All right, 
Nothing on this one. All right, so we got a little bit of roots on this one. So I'm actually going to trim some of this off and then we'll put it in a pot. There we go. All right, so this one's got a little one as well. But this one, surprisingly, is in the same spot that we did the graft. All right, so all in all, we did eight grafts and we got six that actually took and grew roots. So I went ahead and got those in the pots here. And what I did notice is on all the ones that had grafts like in this area where there was a little nodule those ones all produced roots from that spot these ones that didn't produce anything they are no nodules here so no nodules on these ones therefore no roots so i've kind of figured out where you need to go ahead and put these these grafting balls whenever we want to go ahead and graft a tree or a bush or a plant whatever it is i need to put the dirt around those nodes and then that is where my roots will come from so i learned that this is the first time that we've used these and these actually worked like i said out of eight we got six not bad so I'm gonna go ahead and water these down right now and I will leave these out in my backyard garden for now so I can water them. But once it starts getting cool, I'll turn them into the pump house until they can fully mature and then I can plant them into the ground and they'll become full-fledged plants. So let's go ahead and water these. All right, so I went ahead and put them over here in my backyard garden and we're just gonna go ahead and water them really good. And then we'll do some more watering back here since we're over here. Thanks for hanging out with me while I went ahead and transplanted our grafted snowball plant into bigger pots for overwintering. And hopefully next year I'll be able to plant them outside somewhere. I will go ahead and drop the link to the video of us grafting that tree and with the steps that we did to go ahead and do that. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.